Hey guys, it's uh, Supai, and uh, I wanted to make a quick, like, video of uh, the new Apex trailer. Um, I just, I just seen this not that long ago, and then I seen uh, the other trailer probably like yesterday or something like that. Um, but I wanted to talk about uh, Seer and his uh, abilities, which um, I think I've only heard like one person mention that like you know seer has this um emp which uh i think he's right um the reason i say that is because like he's able to track people right with his heartbeat sensor which that's why you see those like squares when like people run and stuff like that but like in this like part of the trailer we we see like he makes this dome with his ultimate right and what i'm guessing is that anybody that's in the dome like he can like send it emp and then cause like everything to like d you know malfunction and stuff like that and the reason i say this is because like okay in this trailer you see valkyrie which is right here and, uh, he, like, I can't really play the trailer because my GPU is, like, messed up right now. But, like, see, like, it puts this square around her. So, like, Sierra knows that, like, Valkyrie is right here. And then, um, I might have went too far. Hold on. But pretty much he, he sends out, like, this, um, EMP attack. That just, like, causes, like, Valkyrie to, like, like, stop flying in the air. And I'm guessing that, like, Seer can do this to other Legends as well. Like, you know, cancel out their abilities inside the spear. So. Let's see if I can actually play this, even though my GPU is messed up, but. I'm going to try to show you guys. So we'll go back. I'll go right here. That's his ultimate for sure. See, he sends out this blast, right? He sends out this blast. Like, he's already sent his ultimate out. And it, there must be another button that you can push where he can, like, cause, like, things inside the bubble to just like you know male function from the EMP blast see and then we see Valkyrie just like she like fly you know drops out of the air because now she can't use her jetpack anymore so this is definitely like uh, something something that I uh, I came across and I heard one other person talk about it too so, it looks like, I mean, a lot of people didn't mention this. I mean, I didn't even see it on, like, um, like, you know, when people mention, like, Seer's abilities and that. Like, it doesn't say anything about an EMP blast. But you can clearly see it in the trailer that there is, um, that Seer can cause an EMP blast. So, maybe we'll see more of it in the, um, the Battle Pass trailer, maybe. Um... Because that's, that's going to be like the last trailer we're going to get right before like season 10 drops on uh, August 3rd. So, so um, I was a little, uh, I wanted to go on my thoughts on the new trailer we just got. Um, I was a little um, disappointed with the new trailer, um, mainly because like I was hoping to see like more Seer more like you know actual like skins we only seen like you know like a new valkyrie skin new vault skin um new horizon skin um we didn't see too much i would say i mean we definitely seen map changes to world's edge which is pretty dope so like sword and factories going um 
the overlook is getting like a new passageway same with the uh, cave over on that side is getting a new passageway um the i think it's refinery i'm not really sure i can't remember but that is getting totally a relook which is right here by the um uh, you know the crystal tower and uh so there, there's some big uh, map changes, which is really, really good. Um, I don't know if I have the Apex trailer thing up. No, I think I do. So we can look at that right now. Um, so we'll go into, what is this? Decimated World's Edge. And so we know that the, so like, yeah, here we go. So, uh. Refinery is being changed to this. Uh, I also heard that like um, the lava in this area, you can't float upwards. So if you drop in that, you're kind of like screwed unless you can get out with like Pathfinder or Valkyrie or something. Or um, Octane. Um, so yeah, here it is, some more refinery. Here's the crystal tower. And then, yeah, see, you're going to have this huge lava thing that goes right through that part of the map. And if you fall in this, it's not going to lift you up out of the, the area like it does when you're in, like, a fragment. Uh, so if you drop in that, you're going to you're gonna be down there. So you got to be careful with that. Um, the new uh, rail uh, trains or whatever they're, they're called. I, I can't even pronounce that, but um, these are going to be moving on the map, which is going to be really dope for some like uh, plays with like Caustic, Watson, uh, Rampart, um, even Octane maybe uses jump pad, you know, somebody try to get up here and then they jump off, um, but it's going to be fun to play in these, especially with them moving. Um, my favorite place, Sword and Factory, is going to be going. Uh, especially because I like to camp up on these cranes with Valkyrie. So that's going to suck. It's going to turn into this. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to sit up on top of these buildings though. There's probably going to be a timer. Which is going to suck. So there's going to be no high ground right up here. Um, besides this like platform with the, the rail carts. Um, there is one crane right here that I could probably camp on maybe uh but if they change it to timer it's gonna suck um let's see here uh train yard is uh gonna be destroyed which kind of sucks i really like this spot in world's edge now it's gonna be like this um not much high ground besides the crane in the middle so I don't know, and it looks like you can get up there from, like, two zip lines, too, so I don't know if that's going to be fun at all. Um, they changed the sky, so it looks like this now. Yeah, here's Overlook. This is old Overlook. I'm going to miss this, like, middle nipple. It's going to be, it's going to be gone. It's going to turn into this, so there's going to be, like, three barrels, and then you're going to have the two nipples, and then two nipples. And then you're going to have this passageway right here. So, I mean, you're still going to be able to camp up on these unless they change it. So, you'll be able to get up here with, like, Valkyrie, Pathfinder, etc. Um, it's going to suck not having that third nipple right there. Uh, let's see here. This is the uh, part of the map I was talking about that's over by Overlook. Um, this is going to be cut out. And there's going to be another, another passage right here. So, you have... This passage through the cave right here, which leads right here, which we're used to, and then here's Fragment, and then you're going to have another passage that leads into the cave right here, so there's going to be three, like, it's going to be crazy, dude. Like, this cave is, oh my god, dude. It's going to be nuts if a bunch of people go through there. Um, so yeah, that's the map changes. Um, but, what I was saying about the, let me see if I can find it um yeah i think this is it okay what i was saying about the trailer is um i don't know i i kind of feel like um like they gave us a lot of like bloodhound stuff in the beginning here instead of seer even though it's like seer's like season 
Um, Cause I mean, I I think I think uh, I know what's going on. Um, Allegra Clark posted something on uh, on Twitter about more uh, stuff with uh, like pronouns and stuff like that with Bloodhound, and she was calling people transphobes and stuff like that. Um, so I think I think because like. I mean, myself included, and then probably other people maybe pissed her off on Twitter. So that's probably why we see like a lot of bloodhound stuff in the uh, beginning of the trailer. Um, because of the, it's just like I don't know if I can find it, but I'm gonna see if I can find it. There's this part where like Bloodhound screams and I'm like, dude, that's uh that's Allegra Clark when she's uh pissed off that nobody used her pronouns, man. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so um yeah, that's that's exactly it. But uh the trailer's okay. Um, especially towards the end, because we get to see the new weapon, the rampage. Um and then we get to see some of the skins. The rampage is gonna be dope gonna be crazy though because like it shoots really fast it's gonna make rampart better which is good um but i'm not happy about the whole being able to just blow open the door like that but i think there's some other weapons that you can blow open the door too like maybe the crossbow but not many people do that but um yeah that's gonna kind of suck in a way especially if you're playing caustic watson or another rampart. Um, it won't be so bad if you're rampart because you can just put the walls in front of the doors. But um, Seer to me is looking like he's probably gonna um, replace Bloodhound. Um, I don't know, man. Like Seer to me just looks like he might be better than uh, than Bloodhound at this point, especially from the EMP that I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, if he EMPs and then he's able to, you know, track footing and then, you know, see, like, where people are and stuff like that. Yeah, I can already see Seer being better than Bloodhound. The only uh, thing that Bloodhound has to uh, Bloodhound is pretty much just the uh, being, being able to go faster than Octane uh, in Bloodhound's ultimate. But... I don't know, man. I'm looking to play Season 10 on uh, August 3rd. Uh, definitely looking forward to getting this Volt skin. And, um, yeah, I think that's my uh, two cents on the uh, subject. And I just wanted to let you guys know that Seer has EMP abilities, which nobody really talked about. I don't know if they know about it, but just wanted to let you guys know. So I will talk to you guys later. Uh, I'm going to try to put some more content out uh, when Season 10 comes out. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have all a great day. And uh, things are going good. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.